Let's talk about the coefficient of variation. In order to calculate it for a sample, the coefficient of variation is going to equal the sample standard deviation divided by the sample mean times 100%. For a population, the coefficient of variation is going to equal the population standard deviation divided by the population mean times 100% if you want to express it as a percentage. So the coefficient of variation, it's basically the ratio between the standard deviation and the mean. So if you have a coefficient of variation of 20%, what that means is that the standard deviation is 20% of the mean. Now, the standard deviation is very useful in helping you to see the dispersion of the data around the mean. Now the coefficient of variation can do the same thing. The only difference is it's typically used to compare one data set with another. So if you want to compare two or more data sets with each other, the coefficient of variation is better suited for that task. And one reason for that is that the units, they cancel out. So let's say if the sample standard deviation has the unit feet the sample mean will also have the unit feet as well. And those units will cancel out. So coefficient of variation, it doesn't have any units. It's unitless, which makes it very useful when comparing one data set to another data set. Now, in order to calculate the coefficient of variation, you need to know how to calculate the standard deviation of the sample. And here's the formula. It's going to be the square root of the sum of the square differences between the data points and the sample mean. And this is going to be divided by the sample size n minus 1. Now, for the population standard deviation, the formula is going to be very similar. It's going to be the square root of the sum of the square differences between the data points and the population mean divided by the population size represented by the symbol capital N. So in order to calculate the coefficient of variation, you need to calculate the standard deviation first. So that's the basic idea behind the coefficient of variation. It's basically the ratio between the standard deviation and the mean. But now let's work on an example problem. So let's say we have two data sets. We have two different tests. Let's say we have a class of 10 students. Five students took test A and the other five took test B. And let's say for test A, the scores are 79. 84, 86, 81, and 89. And for test B, let's say the scores are 63, 72, 92, 84, and 78. With this information, Calculate the coefficient of variation for each of these two different tests. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to calculate the mean. So let's calculate the sample mean for test A. So it's going to be the sum of these five numbers divided by the sample size, which is n. 79 plus 84 plus 86 plus 81 plus 89. That's going to be 419. And we have five data points, so n is 5. Now, 419 divided by 5 will give us a sample mean of 83.8. So I'm just going to rewrite that here. So the sample mean for test A is 83.8. 
Now let's do the same thing for test B. Let's calculate the sample mean. So let's take the sum and we'll divide it by the sample size. 63 plus 72 plus 92 plus 84 plus 78. That's equal to 389. Now 389 divided by 5 is 77.8. So that's going to be the sample mean for test B. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and calculate the sample standard deviation. So in order to calculate this part, I'm going to take each data point and subtract it by the mean and then take the square of it. Once you square it, you're going to get a positive result. So the order in which you subtract it won't matter. 83.8 minus 79, that's 4.8. And I'm going to square it. So I'm going to have 4.8 squared. 84 minus 83.8, that's a difference of 0.2. So this is going to be 0.2 squared. 86 minus 83.8, that's 2.2. So I'm going to have plus 2.2 squared. And then 83.8 minus 81, that's 2.8. So plus 2.8 squared. And then 89 minus 83.8, you know, you could type that in your calculator if you want. That's 5.2. So this is going to be plus 5.2 squared divided by n is 5, so this is n minus 1, and all of this is going to be inside of a square root. So go ahead and take a minute to plug this in. I know I'm going to need a few seconds to do this. So I got 3.962. So that's for test A. So let's call this SA. Now let's do the same thing for test B. Seventy-seven point eight minus sixty-three. That's going to be fourteen point eight. 77.8 minus 72, that's going to be 5.8. 92 minus 77.8, I'm going to plug that one in. So that's 14.2. 84 minus 77.8. is 6.2. And then 78 minus 77.8, that's 0 0.2. 2. And everything else is going to be the same. So go ahead and plug that into your calculator. So for the standard deviation, I got 11.0995. So now that we have the standard deviation and the sample mean for each test, we can calculate the coefficient of variation for each test. So for the first test, it's going to be SA over XA times 100%. So that's 3.962 divided by 83.8 times 100%. And I'm going to put this value here.
So I get a coefficient of variation of 4.7%. And of course, that's a rounded answer. It's about 4.7. 28%. Now for the second one, I'm going to take the standard deviation, SB, and divide it by the sample mean for test B, which is 77.8. So the coefficient of variation for test B, that's going to be 14.3%. So we could see clearly uh, test B has more variation than test A. And the coefficient of variation, it shows that as well. And of course, the standard deviation shows that too. But that's how you can calculate the coefficient of variation. It's basically a ratio between the standard deviation and the mean. And you can express it as a percentage if you want to.